So we're gonna look at what these noise profiles can do for your footage. You see the flickering here, and now you see that it can be removed. And at the blue channel, so you can see what's going on, flickering, and neat video really reduces it. Now, if you haven't checked out our low light pack for shooting at low light with a Mavic, you can see that below. Okay guys, I'm gonna give you a quick overview on running neat video. So what you wanna do after you've edited your film is to apply neat video to the clips that need it. You go ahead and select to open. Now, first thing you need to do when you open neat video is to tell neat video what the noise profile is. So now that you've downloaded those, put them in a folder uh, that you, you can come back to. I've got one right here. So we're gonna pick your the noise profile. This is 4K at ISO 100. And once that's selected, you can come over to your noise filter settings. A neat video just has some default settings, but we have some made for you with uh, collaboration with neat video that are optimized for Mavic. So you've got three options here, 4K, 2.7K, and a low light noise reduction. Um, the 2.7K applies a light sharpening that you can turn off if you like, uh, but I find that it it helps the image a good little bit and the 2.7K can use it. The 4K on the other hand looks a little bit over sharpened right out of the camera. So we're gonna select that right now. Um, and neat video helps to knock that over sharpening down a little bit. And if you have a lot of fine detail, you can reduce that any more with a, one of the parameters inside a neat video. So here we're looking at the denoised image. We can go ahead and zoom in, toggle around right here. And if you click anywhere on the screen, you can see the before denoising. And then when you let go, you can see the after, All right? So now if we'd like to reduce the sharpening anymore, we can leave everything the same, but just turn on the edge smoothing feature. Now with edge smoothing, I suggest turning the mids all the way down and just working with this higher frequency edge smoothing. So I like to kind of crank it up until I feel like the detail looks proper. And then you can just go back and forth by turning on the enable. So you can he see here, this is denoised, but it still looks a little over sharpened because there's so much fine detail. And when we click the edge smoothing, it smooths a lot of that out. So that's a good way to deal with uh, an over sharpened image. So one thing with neat video is that you can optimize it for your computer. If you come over to the general tab here, you can hit preferences. And inside of this, you want to go to the optimized settings. And what this will do is test all the combinations of CPU and GPU and see what works the best. So you just wanna click start. And what it'll do is test each core on your CPU and GPU. And once it's done, you just wanna hit accept best combination and that will get you all set. And you don't have to set that again. It'll stay as your neat video preference. So from here, you just render out your film. It will take a while because neat video is very processor intensive, but I really do think it's worth it.